click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends we are discussing different wage plans now we will discuss emerson's wage plan and how he is ensuring time wages for less efficient workers and incentives to more efficient workers that we will understand let us understand the concept first Under this method, wages are paid based on efficiency of worker. Such efficiency of worker may be calculated in various ways such as efficiency in percentage is equal to time allowed as per standard time divided by actual time taken multiplied by 100. Here we are comparing standard time required to complete a job and actual time taken by worker to complete a job if worker completes a job within a given standard time is considered as efficient if he completes the job before standard time if he takes less time then he will be considered as more efficient because he has saved the time that can be used for some other production if a worker takes more time than a standard time that means the worker has wasted the time he will be considered as less efficient worker efficiency may be calculated by various methods but this method ensures time basis wages to all the workers even to inefficient workers minimum wages guaranteed on time basis bonus is paid at a rising scale at various levels of efficiency when worker is efficient he gets bonus but efficiency also may differ from worker to worker even though more efficient worker requires motivation for those who are more efficient than others for that purpose in this method bonus is paid at a rising scale of efficiency performance below 66.67 percent that is two-third of standard output time wages paid without any bonus so to those employees who have underperformed and they have not achieved the required target that is below 66.67 percent below two third for them there is assurance of time wages without any bonus above 66.67 percent up to 100 percent efficiency bonus varies between 0.01 percent up to 20 percent it depends upon the company's policy above 100 percent efficiency bonus of 20 percent of basic wages plus 1% for each 1% increase in efficiency is paid so this method is a bit complicated for calculation but it assures 
highly performing workers to claim high amount of wages based on high efficiency. Let us do one small question to understand this method. In a manufacturing concern, the daily wage rate is rupees 2.50. The standard output in 6 days week is 200 units. So they have given a standard output 200 units representing 100% efficiency. The daily wage rate is paid without bonus to those workers who show up up to 66 two third that is 66.67 percent of efficiency standards. Beyond this there is a bonus payable on graded scale 82% efficiency 5% bonus 90% efficiency 9% bonus 100% efficiency 20% bonus further increase of 1% for every 1% further rises in efficiency in a 6 day week A has produced 180 units B 164 units C 200 units D 208 units and E 130 units calculate earnings of each employee under immersion plan First, we'll calculate efficiency of each worker. Actual output divided by standard output multiplied by 100. In case of Mr. A, actual output produced 180 units. Standard they have given 200 units. So in case of Mr. A, efficiency is 90%, B 164 units, that is 82% efficiency, C 200 units, Hundred percent efficiency, D two zero eight units, hundred and four percent, E hundred and thirty units. 65% in case of Mr. A efficiency is 90% 90% efficiency bonus is 9% daily wage rate multiplied by number of days plus 9% bonus daily wage rate 2.5 multiplied by number of days 6 plus 9 percent of 2.5 multiplied by 6 amount comes to 16 rupees 35 paise in case of mr a in case of mr b efficiency level is 82 percent 82 percent efficiency 5 percent bonus
डेली वेज रेट मल्टीप्लाइड बाय नंबर ऑफ डेज प्लस फाइव परसेंट टू पॉइंट फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सिक्स प्लस फाइव परसेंट वी गॉट वेजेस फिफ्टीन रुपीस सेवेंटी फाइव पैसे इन केस ऑफ मिस्टर सी एफिशिएंसी इज हंड्रेड परसेंट हंड्रेड परसेंट एफिशिएंसी 20% bonus so in case of mr c wages are 18 rupees mr d efficiency is 104% further increase of 1% for every 1% further rising efficiency so it is 104 percent so here we have taken 20 percent so for additional 4 percent there will be additional 4 percent bonus In case of Mr. D, 2.5 multiplied by 6 plus 24 percent. So, in case of Mr. D, it will be rupees 18.60 paise. In case of Mr. E, efficiency is 65 percent. The daily wage rate is paid without bonus to those workers who show up to 66 two third. That is 66.67% of efficiency standard. That means in case of those workers, there will not be any payment of bonus without bonus, but they are going to get what daily wage rate as per the plan. So here daily wage rate they are given 2.5. So that will be paid. So Mr. E will get 15 rupees time basis without any bonus amount because he has not achieved even two third of standard efficiency that is 100 percent he is 65 percent two third means 66.67 percent if a worker is below that level of efficiency he has not been paid any amount of bonus. So Mr. E got only 15 rupees. Thus under immersion plan, we have studied how variety of wages are paid based on efficiency of the worker so that we can satisfy all levels or all grades of workers showing different levels of efficiencies. This method is bit difficult to operate and understand by the workers but it takes care of all more efficient workers who are ready to show more efficiency to earn more amount of wages and thereby it brings motivation thanks for watching this video stay in tune with ikeda and subscribe to our channel ikeda thank you